James Allen, and my topic is on lawsuits against piracy. Um, I know this sounds redundant, but I'm sure more than half of you guys have downloaded music or a movie off the internet, something off of LimeWire or Aries or something like that. And um, recently that's led to the controversy of copyright infringement. Um, and this is illegal. And recently, groups such as the RIAA and the MPA uh, have been cracking down on networks who help aid file sharing and uh, filing lawsuits against individuals who download music. Um, which leads me to my major claim. These lawsuits are truly unnecessary for trying to cope with copyright infringement. Uh, because file sharing will continue to thrive, uh, the consequences are extremely severe, and um, it is also, file sharing also is a part of the future of listening to music or watching movies. I'm going to start with my first claim, which is the music industry continuing to thrive. Uh, let's see. Because you can easily access uh, music files over the internet or movie files over the internet, it's going to lead to more potential fans for the artists or uh, producers who make these movies or record these songs. Therefore, you're helping to add the revenue by supporting them, by going to their concerts, um, sponsoring them, or even purchasing their merchandise. Uh, there was an attorney who reached a federal lawsuit on file sharing. His name is Lori R. Leibach, and he stated that artists' compensation should increase with new music distribution methods. The RIAA, which is the Recording Industry Association of America, has had a stronghold on in the distribution capability, and the, and the RIAA guys are not needed, and they know it. Uh, so basically, it's going to continue to thrive because the distribution methods are going to get bigger and bigger, therefore leading for more fans to the artists. Uh, now I'm going to move on to my second claim. The consequences are very, very extreme and severe. In August 2008, uh, Activision, a 2.9 billion uh, corporation for video games, sued James R. Strickland of New York for copying a copy of a game called Call of Duty. He has been charged a minimum of $30,000 for each infringement. Truly, this is extremely severe because the New York Penal Code would only charge $1,000 for a petty theft. Uh, so obviously, these charges are very unsuitable. And I think everyone knows that recently, the RAA has been cracking down on college students. In 2007, over 500 students nationwide were sent emails and letters regarding music downloading. Uh, Sarah, Sarah Bark of the University of Nebraska was charged over $3,000 for only 381 songs. Uh, obviously, this is very harsh on college students because uh, they already face a financial burden. Um, also, uh, many students would not consider file sharing than uh, any worse than driving over the speed limit by five miles. Uh, this will lead me on to my third claim, uh, which is File sharing will continue, regardless of these lawsuits, uh, because it's much more convenient 
and uh, no one really wants to pay about $20 for a CD and uh, find out it's a bad album. They're overpriced because it is Uh, the, the costs to create them are decreasing and they're just getting expensive. Um, Professor Harvard, Professor John Palfrey of Harvard Law School and the director, and he's also the director of Berkman Center of the Internet and Society says when he was asked about the RIA lawsuits, he said, I don't think this litigation has made a meaningful dent and how much piracy goes on among American young people and think it continues to represent a signal that the recording industry is out of step with the future and frankly out of step with the present as well. But it is more importantly a distraction from finding the way into a digital age. Uh, so he's basically saying that file sharing is the future of music. Um, and basically, in conclusion, uh, lawsuits are unnecessary. Music and uh, movie industries can continue to thrive. Uh, the consequences are extremely harsh, and uh, if we try to stop file sharing, it's probably going to stop um, any progress in the music industry or entertainment industry. The end. All right, you state the claim. It sounds like you're giving us background information at first, and then it uh, turns out that it's a preview of what the structure is going to be. But you did signpost that structure very clearly in the internal part of the speech. You've got uh, some good examples that you're using to illustrate the ideas that you're talking about. I think you need some stronger evidence to be able to make the inferences that you have. The one piece of evidence that most clearly applied to one of your inferences was the last one, the quote from the attorney from the Internet group. Uh, that basically says that this isn't going to make that the lawsuits are not going to have any uh, impact on piracy. So we've got some authorities' opinion on that. Uh, we didn't have any other data than that to support that conclusion, which is ultimately the really controversial part of the speech, because the rest of it is uh, is mostly descriptive of what's going on, uh, and we need to know what the inferences are that you're making from this. That it's going to get worse. Uh, that uh, failing to act will uh, create a problem or that the actions that we're taking are making the problem worse or that some other action would work more effectively, those would probably be where your inferences really lie. Uh, the presentation is not always as smooth and effective as it could be. Sometimes you're a little bit hesitant. Maybe it's anxiety or maybe you're just a little bit unfamiliar with the notes that you've got, so you'd want to work on those kinds of issues. Uh, there are some value claims that come up at, that uh, I think are a little bit distracting that also are going to be the basis of some responses from the uh, the refutation presentation, I'm sure. It's the third point, like I said, that seems to be where the main factual issue is at, uh, in dispute. And uh, you end up with that final comment as the way of putting the end on the uh, of the speech, you know, the end. It sounds a little ominous as well as being way too definitive. All right.